Today I'm going to be showing you how I've been wearing some of my more summery handmade clothing items during the first part of our autumn season. If you're in the northern hemisphere and you're in the middle of spring now, you're really wanting to break out your summer clothing, but it's not quite warm enough. Perhaps some of what I'm going to be showing you today will help you wear some of your summer items in the springtime as well. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and this is So Much Sewing. This channel is all about my sewing adventures. So I hope you're as obsessed with sewing as I am and I hope you'll stick around. If you are a new viewer, maybe you found me through my videos on the So Frugal Challenge and the So Yellow for Endo Challenge this month, then welcome. I hope you will like what you see. I hope you will stick around. I hope you will click the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all that good stuff and I hope that I'm going to see you here again. Welcome back to my returning viewers, I really appreciate your support um, and yeah let's get into this video. I wanted to tell you about how I've been styling some of my more summery makes through this early part of our autumn season where it has been cooling down but it's still not freezing and we had such a rubbish um, summer here in New Zealand that I hardly got to wear a lot of my beautiful summery makes and so I was determined that I was going to start wearing them or could rather continue to wear them um, through our autumn season and get as much wear out of them as possible. So I've been working really hard at dreaming up ways of combining my summery clothes a lot of the times with ready to wear items that I have. Um, I would like to thrift things. I very, well no I was going to say I very really buy new items but that's that's not 100% true. I do buy new items but I also like thrifting and of course I love my sewing but I just find it really satisfying when I can combine the things that I've made with things that I've purchased. So the first little ensemble that I'll show you is, if you have watched my channel before, you will recognise this dress. This is my Susie dress by Hubbarding. Hubbarding is a New Zealand pattern designer company and this is just quite a simple, uh, the, the bodice ends here, there's no, I don't think there's even a dart in there, but no, <coughs> no dart shaping, sorry I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. And then the bodice starts here and there's two big frills on the bottom. I made this using a Liberty cotton um, which I just adore this dress. I, my, as I say my regular viewers will know how much I adore this dress and I've hardly worn it because our summer was so terrible. But what I've done is I've um, combined it with my Staley sweatshirt LB Textiles is, I think they're an Australian company actually, and this LB, sorry, and this Staley has got a t-shirt and a sweatshirt with this lovely split shaping here. And I made this in a, a Cupro Viscose knit that I got from Drapers. So I love this as well, I've made this top a few times and I will continue to make it because I really love the crop shape on me. So I'll put pictures in of the combination of these two together and I think it works really well for sort of warmer autumn days. This sweatshirt is not overly warm but of course it's got sleeves on it and um, you know it's warmer than just wearing this on its own which is actually something I would never do but that's beside the point <clears throat> but I just love the combination of these two together and they are exactly how I pictured that this outfit would look they look exactly how I thought it would look and I love this outfit I love it with my white sneakers here but as the uh, wintry weather closes in more I imagine that I'll just wear some thick tights underneath the Susie dress I'll wear some ankle boots I've got some amazing sort of cigar colored lace up ankle boots that I've had for a number of years now but I just love them so much so I'll put those with them with the dress and I'll just wear something warmer on top so 
yay that is outfit number one I should just mention to you what I'm wearing. This is a Merchant and Mills Florence top that I've made using, actually it's a Merchant and Mills iCat cotton fabric as well. I got this fabric from Jones Fine Fabric in New Zealand and <coughs> I've worn this top quite a bit during the summer months and again this is probably something I can take through the autumn if I wear something underneath it, wear some long sleeves underneath it but um, it's not part of the group of um, ensembles that I'm going to be showing you today. The next outfit I'm going to show you is using my Sydney dress. This is a Stylark Sydney dress and I've used a viscose crepe that I got from the Fine Cloth Company in Wellington, New Zealand and this is very long, very loose, very baggy. Um, I love this pattern, I really do love this dress. I was a bit mad when I made it because the sizing information given on the pattern is not correct. It gave the finished bust measurements as I can't remember what they were but I do know that the, my finished bust measurements when I finished this dress were 11 whole centimetres larger than the finished bust measurements they told you on the pattern which is about four and a half inches so you know that's substantial it's not just a little bit larger it's a lot larger so I was a little bit mad about that but having said that I like big ba baggy clothing anyway I would just be careful of that if you're going to make this dress um, sized out maybe even two sizes but having said that I love the dress um, the style is fantastic it's got a very high bodice it actually only sort of really comes to my bust line so it is very high sits high but this is such a cute dress and what I did to sort of warm it up a bit to wear during a cooler autumn day was just to wear this ready to wear t-shirt underneath it this is a lightweight viscose jersey and so it was very lightweight and then um, so at times during the day that was enough but at other times during the day I needed a little something extra so this is just a little throw on cardi this is a ready to wear item as well so you'll see that I've combined this outfit with those cigar colored ankle lace up boots that I talked about earlier and this is just a very comfortable outfit I'm very happy I feel very much like me in this outfit the base of this next outfit is my gorgeous Jolie Lab Bloom blouse now this is not so much of a summary make because it's in a viscose and it's not a lightweight slinky viscose it's much more of a winter weight viscose this is a least tailor fabric and I just adore the fabric I wish you could feel how gorgeous and soft it is <clears throat> so it's not really a summery make because it is you know our summers get quite hot here in Auckland New Zealand so it's a bit too much for summer so I usually do save it for autumn it's got this lovely frill on the front and these beautiful buttons front and back that I got from the Dahlia Society lovely sparkly buttons and I adore this top I just love it so much and so what I've done is I've paired it with a pair of ready-made black skinny jeans and a pair of yep just checking white sneakers and I love the way this looks I really feel very comfortable and happy in this outfit I always feel like a million bucks when I wear this top and um, it is quite cool in the in the mornings at the moment so I did also team this with another ready to wear jacket so this is just a waterfall crepe um, sort of a bombery jacket with some rib there rib at the cuffs there and rib around the neck again ready to wear bought it um, second hand or thrifted it is the nicer way of saying it isn't it and this outfit was really great for a pretty cold morning that we had recently this next outfit is a pair of ashwood trousers by cashmereette this pattern is one of their um, club patterns which is only available if you sign up to their monthly club 
although if you do sign up to the club um, there's one tier where you have access to all the past patterns and another tier where you only have access to the current month's pattern um, but it's quite a good little club because you can duck in and out as you would like to and um, you're not locked into being stuck in there for a whole year if you don't want to you can just if you see that they've got a pattern that you like the look of this month then just sign up grab that pattern and then have a look at there's lots of master classes where Jenny talks about fitting issues so anyway ha have a look <clears throat> I'm not affiliated I don't get any kind of um, commission or anything I just really like this cashmere club but so these are the pants these are the ashwood pants <clears throat> they were I'm going to talk to you about these more in another video because I haven't talked to you about these yet but essentially these are the base of this next outfit and I'm looking at the picture here to be honest I'm not sure about the proportions of this I wore this crepe viscose crepe um, actually it was this way around this is the front with the buttons down the front singlet or tank dress over the top of the trousers it's quite long and then over the top of that I wore my Staley tee again this is the one you saw in the first outfit with the Susie Paisley dress so I wore these things together and I'm I'm not 100% sure about the proportions I have to say um, and the trousers I'm not 100% sure about the hem on the trousers but um, the length of those and the split oh sorry you can probably hear that my husband is up on the roof painting the roof um, I'm gonna assume he's not gonna fall off uh, that wasn't him falling off that was just him getting into position uh, one day he actually did fall off the roof I was working from home downstairs and we've got a very steep pitched roof it's two stories very steep pitched roof and he did fall <laughs> from quite high up but he tumbled down and then it's quite a lot lower there's a sort of a veranda comes down like this and then there's a veranda that comes off and so he got down to that bit just by the veranda and of course that's not that high well it's high I wouldn't want to fall off it but um, he got to there and then he sort of managed to jump off <laughs> And he landed on the ground and we like this hooray like he was a gymnast so that was quite funny slash oh my gosh I'm glad that wasn't you know a disaster I'm sure he won't fall off today will he so yes where was I going with that yeah unsure about this outfit the proportions of it unsure about the trousers I'll talk to you uh, about the trousers in probably my next video um, but I still yeah I still liked it I did not dislike this outfit and it got to wear two of my handmade pieces together so I thought that was pretty good this is the second to last outfit that I'm going to show you <clears throat> and this is actually by rights it possibly shouldn't even be in this video because this the premise of this video is all about eking out my summery makes into the cooler weather but this is very much a wintery shirt so sorry I lied <laughs> but um, is there a mark on it is that a mark never mind this is a gorgeous brushed cotton flannel I love it I don't know that I've ever worn brushed cotton except for maybe some fleecy pajamas when I was a kid I wish <clears throat> it came out in more patterns I know that Kristen from the Dahlia Society had some brushed cotton some flannel brushed cotton flannel whatever however you say it last winter so I don't know if she'll be getting any more back in and it had I think it was see you at six but it was some beautiful patterns but mostly in New Zealand we only seem to be able to get planes or sort of lumberjack checks and um, I do have one checked top um, but I'm not really into checks or plaid that much so long story short but I do love this um, this is a Joni top by So Liberated I have 
a video about this. In fact, probably everything I've shown you will be in previous videos. So if you are a new viewer here, then please do go back and have a look at my um, previous videos and you'll see these things that I've mentioned as I've made them. So the Joni top, <clears throat> what I did was I think, I haven't got the photo here in front of me, but I'm pretty sure I wore this with a pair of jeans, my black jeans, and um, not sure the shoes might have been my white sneakers. But the top layer I put on a ready to wear piece was this denim jacket that I thrifted. I'm not overly in love with this, this dressed part of it here, to be honest, but once I put it on, it's very comfortable and, um, you know, I'm perfectly happy I even wear this in the office at work for an extra layer. So I really liked this outfit too. I always feel so comfy in this. I love wearing this. And with the denim jacket, I thought that was a really good way of sort of warming up an outfit so that it can be worn in, in cooler temperatures. The final outfit I'm going to show you today is my Pattern Emporium Shoreline dress. This is actually a top pattern, so it's a sort of a, a high hip or a low hip top pattern. Kate from Pattern Emporium does give you hacks for how to hack it into a knee length dress and there are plenty of those on show on her website but I went that little step further and I hacked it into a full length dress with super big splits up the sides. Um, I put these poppers on, sort of metal jeans poppers. I did lots of top stitching which I was very proud of. And my battery is getting really, really low. Just one moment, please. I'm back. My apologies for that. I've plugged my charger into my phone, which now means that I can't plug my microphone into my phone. So the sound will be different. I'm sure it will be fine, but the sound will be different. So my apologies for that rocky error. But back to my final make to show you, the shoreline dress made in the um, chambray fabric that I had in my stash. Um, that's right, I was telling you how proud I was about my top stitching. So this um, obviously is a very summery dress with the big slits up the side. Um, with these cuffs here, fold back cuffs, and with this tab here, I know that it's not really very friendly for wearing cardigans or jackets over the top of it because that will be very very bulky. I do actually have a sort of a bulky um, three-quarter sleeve jacket that I can wear over the top of this but generally most cardies or jackets will you know they won't go over the top of that so I had a bit of a think about how I could sort of winterize this a little bit and so what I did is I put this um, again, another ready to wear. It's actually inside out, so I'm going to turn it in the right way for you. It's an item that I put, had purchased quite a few years ago before I'd lost my weight, and it was a 3XL, size 3XL, which just doesn't fit me anymore. Um, but I did actually take this in. Uh, so I made it slimmer through the body. I made it fit me. Took, took the... Um, the shoulders up because it was hanging very low, took the shoulders up, took it in at the sides and anyway I still wear this a lot. It's one of my foundational pieces in my wardrobe summer or winter. So I put the singlet dress underneath it and I knew that I would be still a little bit chilly on that particular day so I also put a long sleeved t-shirt underneath it and so this is the combination I came up with. Again, I wore my cigar brown ankle boots and I really like this look. It's a bit quirky, but I really liked it. It was very comfortable. Oh, actually, <laughs> I have to say, this might be TMI, too much information, but it was a little bit awkward when I went to the loo because I, I think I had tights on. Did I have tights on underneath the... No, I had bike shorts on underneath this tank dress, which were a cottony fabric. 
and so and then I had the tank dress over the top of that so because they were both cotton on cotton the bike shorts and the tank dress they kind of stuck together just a little bit and then I had the viscose jersey long t-shirt over the top of the tank dress underneath this dress so when I went to the loo I had to sort of make sure the bike shorts were all right and then that the dress was not stuck on the um, bike shorts this tank dress so I had to take time and make sure that was all smoothed down then I had to sort of lift this dress up and make sure that the t-shirt was all smoothed down over the top of the tank dress and then of course because this has got big splits in the back I had to make sure that the back of my dress wasn't stuck up like that so all round a little bit of a faff at toilet break time but apart from that I really liked this outfit so I just thought that might be a fun video I found it a lot of fun actually um figuring out ways of making more summery items uh, work for the early autumn. Some of these things probably won't work right the way through autumn and into the winter time. But I also think that this sort of thing is really useful if you're dying to get your summer makes out, um, but you're in the still in spring and it's not quite warm enough to get your summer stuff out. So think of ways that you can sort of warm up your summery items as well, maybe with a really lightweight t-shirt underneath or in the case with the denim dress, put a little tank dress underneath it or I don't know, just an idea. So thanks very much for being here with me today. I appreciate your company. Um, I would love it if you would click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I have actually been creeping up in numbers. I think um, the So Yellow for Endo and the um, So Frugal Challenge um, brought some new viewers my way. So thank you very much for coming to see me and I hope you will stick around. Those challenges I made clothing for or I was talking about making clothing for my granddaughter. Most of my sewing is for myself. So um, that's generally what my content is. There isn't a lot of children sewing in there. So just, just to let you know that. But anyway, that's enough from me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. I hope you're well. I hope you're happy. And I hope you're getting loads and loads of sewing done. See you soon. Bye.